Hi, good afternoon viewers. We have with us today a very distinguished personality as our guest, a wearer of multiple hats, a former Indian hockey team captain, member of Olympic Task Force considered by Honorable Prime Minister, a sports management expert and CEO of Olympic Gold Quest, Mr. Viren Wilfred Rasquina. Mr. Viren Rasquina, thank you so much for joining Asianet News and welcome to our show. We are very glad to have you with us today. Thank you, Jobby. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting. First of all, how are things going in these challenging pandemic days? Yeah, I think it's been a very uh, tough Olympic cycle, especially in the last year and a half once the pandemic set in. And, uh, 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 you know, athletes train very well when there's a fixed goal in front of them. And for many of them, that fixed goal was the Tokyo Olympics last year in, in July 2020. And if you remember, in March, uh, the world came to a standstill. The Olympics got postponed by a year. And it left the, uh, the athletes in a, in a vacuum. And uh, when that, that fixed goal of the Olympics got taken away, it, uh, you know, we saw it uh, from very close quarters that athletes started lacking motivation and focus. Uh, it was very tough to get them back on track. Because, you know, in order to train hard every single day at 6 o'clock in the morning, there has to be some sort of goal in front of you. And there wasn't any goal in terms of uh, international tournaments or even domestic tournaments for many, many months. So uh, that was a very tough period for the athletes. Uh, but I'm happy to say that, uh, uh, that we have pulled things back together, especially over the last six months. Uh, but overall, I would say uh, I'm happy with the preparations of the Indian athletes going to the Tokyo Olympics. Viren, as I mentioned in my intro, you are wearing multiple hats. So how do you keep adapting to these multiple roles that you don't? Uh, you know, I, I, actually, I have in fact never even seen any of these roles as, as work. I eat, breathe and live sport. I, I love sport. And for me, uh, it's almost as if it's not work, it's just a, so the next best, best thing to actually playing myself is looking after the training of some of India's best athletes preparing for the Olympics um, and, and, and to discuss on that, to strategize on that. And uh, for me, I, I love my job. I'm very lucky uh, to be working with an organization like Olympic Gold Quest, to be working with elite athletes, to be working at the Olympics. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm just very grateful uh, that I get uh, uh, to work in sport. So now let's move on to the biggest event of the year, the Tokyo Olympics. Can you tell us about the, your first memories regarding Olympics? When did you start having the belief that you are going to represent our nation in Olympic Games? Uh, you know, it, it goes back to actually 1996 when as a young kid, I remember as, uh, watching at home, I, I saw Leander Pace standing on the Olympic podium at the 96 Atlanta Olympics. And I saw Leander standing there on the podium, the Indian flag going up and a tear rolling down Leander's cheek. And for me, that was my moment of inspiration. Uh, you know, I wanted to play for India. I wanted to captain the Indian hockey team. I wanted to play at the Olympics. I wanted to win an Olympic medal as a player. I was very lucky. The first three dreams got fulfilled. Just the last one of winning an Olympic medal myself as a player, that remained unfulfilled. And so, um, you know, it, it motivates me today to, uh, to now help the next generation of athletes do something that I couldn't do, which is win an Olympic medal. And so if, if there's any little contribution that I can do, uh, 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 that makes me happy. What do you tell these athletes? How difficult is it to keep motivated despite not having enough competitions, fans, spectators and a lot of uncertainties? Let's make no mistake. It was very difficult. For many athletes, you know, Vishwanathan Anand is uh, one of our board of directors uh, at Olympic World Quest and Anand was telling me how difficult it was for him to motivate himself to train hard. And this is someone who has played at the highest level of chess for 30 years, multiple world champion. If Anand was finding it hard to motivate himself, you can imagine the 20-year-old athlete going to his or her first Olympics. I think my advice to every athlete would be to be calm. And do the things well which are in your control. There are some things in life which are out of our control and there are some, some things which are in, in our control. I think as an athlete, your, your training, your sleep, your rest, your nutrition, these are things that are in our control. Things that are out of our control in the pandemic or whether it's too cold or too hot 
or too windy. Uh, uh, you know, they, we should not stress about too much about these things. We have Manpreet Singh, our hockey team captain, as one of our flag bearers on the opening day. And we know that flag bearers are selected based on different considerations like the availability on opening day and all. But we have a hockey player leading our squad on the opening day after 25 long years after Pagat Singh. Manpreet Singh is the first to get that honour. So what does this signify? Does this mean that we are looking at this squad as having a potential to reach the podium, to have a medal, to get a medal? Yeah, you know, it's a great honour for hockey to have Manpreet as uh, one of the two flag bearers at the opening ceremony along with the legend uh, MC Maricom. And I'm really happy for Manpreet. I think he's been an absolutely stellar leader for the Indian hockey team. He leads from the front. He leads by example. Uh, his effort, his team spirit, his man management skills have been second to none. So, uh, really happy for Manpreet. Very happy for hockey uh, as well. Um, you know, and I'm really excited about this Indian hockey team. I think this is going to be the one of the most open men's hockey tournaments at the Olympics in a long, long time. There are no clear favourites. Australia and Germany are not as strong as they used to be. So, uh, I definitely think uh, that the Indian men's hockey team has a chance of an Olympic medal. You recently tweeted a video of PV Sinsu practising and we know that you, su you started supporting her right from the age of 14. And she's a big championship player. So, tell us about her chances this time. After her world championship gold medal, maybe she had a bit of dip in form. Uh, she had some encouraging signs uh, in her uh, last couple of tournaments. And then again, of course, there was a big break in international badminton. Uh, but in terms of her training, uh, uh, she's training very well. She's trained really hard, uh, uh, really pushed the limits every single day in training. And uh, there's no doubt that Sindhu has great big match temperament. Uh, uh, she's always been the player who performs well on the big occasions. Uh, we definitely hope uh, that after Sushil Kumar, uh, Sindhu can become the first Indian individual Olympic athlete uh, to win two Olympic medals.